I'm sorry guys, but enough is enough. Aaron Boone and Brian Cashman, Marcus Timms, they've all got to go. Period. Full stop. Ultimately, this comes down to Brian Cashman because he put together this squad of highly motivated personnel. John Carlos Stanton can't play the outfield. You're paying him 20 plus million dollars a year. The guy's 31 years old and he can't play the outfield? Are you kidding me? What is with this roster? If you can't play the outfield at 31 years old, you've got no business being a professional athlete. I'm sorry. And as for this pitching staff, who would have thunk it that relying on three pitchers for your starting rotation that through a combined one inning last season would be a bad idea? I don't know, maybe everyone except for Brian Cashman and the Yankees organization? Everyone knew that it was a bad idea. A team that's coming off of injury problems, that's had nothing but injury problems for the last few years. Bringing in a bunch of injury prone players, are you kidding me? And by the way, relying on analytics, making analytics the primary driving force of your on-field strategy is a f***ing stupid idea. It's stupid because baseball is played by human beings. Human beings have rhythms and personality and chemistry. We're not just cyborgs that go out there and perform based on numbers and, and spreadsheets. These are guys that need to be led. They need leaders. You can't put Aaron Boone, who's a puppet, in charge of this team. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry for the foul language, but I'm a little hot under the collar today because this Yankees team is awful. We've been sold a bag of goods. We were told that this was going to be a championship caliber team. Remember Aaron Boone says, we're just trying to get better in the margins. We think we're knocking on that door, baby. We're knocking on that fucking door. Horrendous. Brian Cashman has had enough slack. He's had enough leash, enough leeway. He has been in primary control of this franchise since 2007. 2007. In that time, one World Series championship. And that was the year that you went out and you got the obvious candidates. You got CeCe Sabathia, Mark Teixeira, and AJ Burnett. And this team overperforms in 2017 with Joe Girardi. And what do you do? You let him go. And the team has not overperformed since. They've failed in the playoffs multiple times. And the life and the heart and soul of this team is gone. Is gone. Base running mistakes every day. Yankees made their 31st out on the bases today. Rugnet Odor. Routine ground ball to shortstop. Right at him. And he runs to third. Down 7 nothing. Down 7 nothing. How many mistakes does it take, Aaron Boone, before you fix the problem? How many mistakes? And I know that Hal Steinbrenner is concerned with the spreadsheets and the profit and loss margins and all that stuff. But you've got to do something. You've got to respect your fans. You've got to respect the people who pay to watch this team, whether it's in person or at the stadium. You've got to bring in somebody competent. You can't just take the word of your so-called baseball people. This team has gone off the rails. I've gone off the rails too, but the Yankees are leading me there. This team is absolutely abysmal. They're not winning shit this year. They're not going to win the division. They're not going to win the playoffs. They're on pace for roughly 81, 82 victories. This team is a failure. And it's an organizational failure top to bottom. Top to bottom. From the management to the scouting to the coaching staff. Marcus Timms, are you kidding me? The guy couldn't hit in the big leagues, but all of a sudden he can teach people how to hit. At this point, the Yankees should be sellers. And the Yankees should take advantage of this off day tomorrow to fire some people. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not over-exaggerating either. Aaron Boone has got to go. This team is not going to win anything with Aaron Boone. It's obvious that he's lost the clubhouse. There is no fight. There is no heart. Whatever he's telling them about running the bases isn't working. It's just not working. These guys can't get it through their head to be conservative on the bases. Down 7 nothing, you're going to get thrown out between second and third on a ground ball to short. Are you kidding me? I know little leaguers that wouldn't do that. This team is a joke. It's an absolute farce of a baseball team. $200 million, you might as well set it on fire. 
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel. If you really enjoyed it, check out the swag section. We've got tons of great designs to support all your favorite Yankees. And if you simply cannot get enough Yankees content, check out the podcast version of this channel, The Freeze by NYY Recaps, available wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Derek. Thanks for watching.